Are you tired of feeling financially stressed? Maybe you didn't do so well in 2022 and are looking to do better in 2023? Well, you're in luck, because today I'm gonna go over the top five things that I'm planning on implementing into 2023 and how I'm planning on going ahead and uh, saving money this year. Number one, create a budget and stick to it. This one may seem obvious, but many people will create a budget and find a very hard time sticking to it. It's incredibly important to track your spending and where your money's going, otherwise, how do you know? Keeping track of this budget allows you to track your spending and see where you can spend less and where you can spend more. Now, there's plenty of great apps out there to help you keep track of these things, such as Mint by Intuit and Rocket Money, which is my personal favorite. I started with Mint, moved to Rocket Money, um, so many more features, but you connect all your cards in there, kind of keep track of wh where everything's going, it automatically categorizes it. I love just keeping track of there, getting the notifications like, hey, you're almost, you're spending way too much going out to eat this month, let's cut it down. Those types of little notifications and little nudges I get kind of help me to keep better with my spending. Number two, save automatically. One of the best ways to save money is to just automatically have that money pull out of your account from time to time. You can set this up with many different apps. Again, I love apps. Anything such as Acorns, I automatically have that reinvest certain things out of my spending on my daily life. And that kind of helps just like build up this little balloon that I don't even notice is getting blown up. It just takes little sums out of my account here and there. You can do this with your banking, automatically have it pull out into your savings account, whatever way you want to structure this. But having tiny little payments come out of your bank account and in a way that you can't even notice it can be a very good way to over time build up a balloon sum that you can use for emergency sa savings or different, different things can come up. Who knows? Anything can come up in the future. It's good to have a little bit set aside, whether you want to put that in an investment account such as Acorns, a Roth IRA, or your savings account. I think it's a great idea. Number three, shop smart. Look around. Don't just buy the first thing that you see. I like to use Honey. It's another thing, another app. It automatically tracks everything that's going on. If I see a product, it'll be like, hey, it's at this website for $100 cheaper. You might just be surprised by how much you can save. Number four, find ways to reduce your spending and reduce your monthly expenses. See what subscriptions you have that you're not really using all that much. You'll be surprised by looking at your whole budget, realizing I don't need this, I don't need this. Another little tip that goes along with that, find ways in your daily routine to move it around. If you go to Starbucks every morning to get your $8 coffee and you're spending an extra $3,000 a year, that's not good. Just get a Keurig. You know, that little investment, those little K-cups will get you through. Make your own coffee at home. It can also be fun, you know? Fun trying different coffees, trying different things, different creamers. Figure out what you like because the markup on coffee is ridiculous. Number five, start a garden. And this one may seem a little bit weird, especially if you live in an apartment or anything like that. But my girlfriend and I love to cook and vegetables are extremely expensive now if you can get seeds there's many different devices that you can put up in your apartments but growing your own tomatoes growing your own whatever organically is is so such an experience it's being able to just pick that off the root cut it up on the cutting board throw it into a pan and it can save you a lot of money if you find yourself cooking a lot and you're buying tons of veggies another thing huge markups on those grow it yourself why spend the money Remember, saving money is all about being smart and disciplined with your daily purchases and monthly expenses. Taking these tips into account will help you if you stay disciplined at them, which is very difficult. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. We do housing tours, apartment tours, sitting down, sharing what I learn. I read a lot. I do a lot of research. These ways, I are the, these are the things that work for me, may not work for you, but nonetheless, I'm here to share. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And thank you for watching.